Hi, my name is Mahesh Balakrishnan, and I'm going to talk to you today about log structured protocols in Delos, a storage system that we built at Facebook over the last few years. Delos is a control plane database. Let me first tell you what that means. If you look at the Facebook software stack, it has a data plane, which consists of services that store and process user data, and a control plane, which consists of infrastructural services like schedulers, configuration services, and so on. Now the control plane is stateful. These services have to store their state in some database, which we call the control plane database. This database has two properties. First, it has to be extremely fault tolerant. And in particular, it has to be zero dependency, which means it can't rely on any other services for functionality, such as membership, failure detection, and so on. Second, we found that our control plane services are quite diverse in how they store and access data. So we need multiple APIs, including SQL, key value pairs, zookeeper namespaces, and so on. Now, the problem we have is each such API typically requires an entire separate system to be built. In the Facebook data plane, for example, we have a SQL database, a key value store called ZippyDB, a zookeeper service, and so on. We can't replicate this approach in the control plane because implementing and operating even a single zero dependency system is quite difficult. So we are at an impasse here. We need multiple APIs in the control plane, but at the same time, we can only build and operate a single database. Our observation though, is that all of these databases have a similar structure. There's a consensus protocol at the bottom, and a replicated state machine on top. But a lot of that state machine consists of generic logic that can be reused across different APIs. Based on this observation, Delos proposes a novel hourglass architecture for replicated databases. At the top, we have multiple user-facing APIs, such as relational table, zookeeper, and queues, supported over a narrow waste of platform code, which in turn can run over multiple consensus protocols. In last year's OSDI conference, we described virtual consensus, which is a mechanism that lets us run a single database over different consensus protocols. In this talk, I'm going to describe the top half of the hourglass, log structured protocols, which allow us to layer multiple APIs on a common platform. So Delos is essentially a library for state machine replication. Each node stores a full copy of the database as a replicated state machine. This state machine consists of two parts, an application which exposes some upstream API. In this case, the application is a table store called Delos table. And this application in turn interacts with a platform layer via a standard state machine replication API to synchronize state across nodes. To understand how this works, let's look at the behavior of a single node. When a client of Delis table sends a write to it, it turns around and proposes a new command describing the update to the platform layer. The platform then appends the update to the underlying shared log and then plays the log forward and relays the update back to Delis table, which in turn writes the update to local storage. This design has the property that it's quite easy to support new databases simply by replacing the top half. The bottom half of the system, that is the platform and the consensus protocol, is oblivious to the upstream API. In addition, the top half can be quite thin. We are able to move a lot of generic logic for things like consistency checking, trimming the log, backup restore, and so on into the platform layer. We used this architecture to build our first database, Delis Table, in 2018. In 2020, a second team started building Zealous, a Zookeeper clone, as an application on the same platform. But we immediately ran into trouble. In practice, Zealous needed multiple changes to the platform code 
to obtain stronger ordering guarantees, additional features, as well as performance parity with Zookeeper. In effect, the platform became a bottleneck, not in terms of scaling or throughput, but in terms of developer productivity. To solve this problem, we came up with the idea of exploding the platform state machine into lots of fine-grained state machines, which we call log-structured protocols. A log-structured protocol engine, or just engine for short, is a fine-grained replicated state machine. It has its own separate piece of local state that it's replicating. However, it's also a protocol in the sense that it can be layered in a protocol stack. Here is how the layering works. When the application on top, which is Dellis table or Zellis, proposes a command, each engine adds its own header to that command and proposes it again to the layer below it. The entry appended to the consensus protocol looks almost like a network packet with a payload and a series of headers. When the command is played back, the bottommost engine called the base engine creates a local transactional context and then applies the command to the engine above it. Each engine extracts its own header, changes its own local part of the state, and then applies the command to the layer above it. Once the top layer finishes executing, it sends a return value back down the stack. The base engine commits the local transaction for the log entry once it receives this return value. And then if the node playing the command happens to be the one that proposed the command, we also relay the return value, return value back to the application. So that's what a log structured protocol looks like. I'm now going to describe the different log structured protocols we built. When we first deployed Dallas table, we structured it as a collection of just two protocols. We had the base engine, which implements the state machine replication API over a shared log and a view tracking engine. Now the job of the view tracking engine is to trim a prefix of the log once all nodes have played it. The state it maintains is the playback position of each node. So in a sense, we're using the log itself to track the set of nodes that are playing it. After we deployed Dallas table, one of our early customer requests was a point in time restore capability. Implementing this required backing up the log. To do this in an efficient manner, we deployed a log backup engine, which coordinates across nodes to efficiently back up the log. This is an example of how we added an engine to obtain a new feature in production. Subsequently, we deployed the first version of Zealous over the same stack of protocols. This version worked out of the box for linearizable commands on the Zookeeper namespace, but it did not support the stronger session order guarantee provided by Zookeeper. To add that guarantee, we inserted a session ordered engine into the stack. This works almost like TCP IP. All outgoing commands are stamped with a session timestamp and on playback, we ensure that commands are applied in session timestamp order. By placing this engine at the top of the stack, we get an end-to-end -end guarantee on session order. The next challenge for Zealous was to match Zookeeper performance, for which we needed to implement batching. The Zealous team implemented and deployed a batching protocol. This was significant for two reasons. The Zealous team built this component on their own without help from the Dellis platform team, showing that log structure protocols could help teams collaborate on a single code base. Second, once they were done, the component, the component was immediately reusable for Dellis table without any changes. Finally, we used log structure protocols to enable features in Zealous, such as passive observer nodes. These are nodes that observe the log and materialize the database, but do not count as first-class durable copies. We were able to easily and safely deploy such nodes just by running a stripped-down subset of the stack. To conclude, Dallas is a control plane database at the bottom of the Facebook stack. 
but it's not just a single database. Rather, it's a platform for building new databases with different APIs. The key to enabling this is the idea of a log structured protocol. We have two such databases in production right now, Dellis Table and Zealous, and one or two new databases that are being built right now. Thank you so much.